sometimes we make so much music on Ableton Live that we end up having uh, 200, 300 projects, which is uh, which are unfinished. Um, on Ableton, there is something that it's uh, very useful that you can blend two or more projects into one, making one track out of five unfinished track. And because it's your music, it will be more likely to sound okay together. So let's check this out. So okay, here, here I am a track. Which is like, you know, a normal uh, track with a melody and the beats. But let's say I'm not really happy about this beat and I want to have a different beat of from a track that I was doing the other day. And I, I can imagine in my head that that beat would be cool on this track. So it is possible to do, to take just the beat from the other track and put it here. So the first things you have to do, it's on your left column of Ableton Live here, where you insert the, the various folder of your hard drive, you need to insert the main folder of all your Ableton projects. In my case, as you can see here, it's called Ableton Project on my external hard drive here, the first one. So Ableton Project, here it's more than 10 years of work. And this is my track. It's called Brodino Worm. So I open the folder and this is the uh, ALS file. That's the project file. I can open the project file. And those, all of these are the channels of the track, the, all the individual channel. So I can just go, I, because I want to take this, just the drum, not the whole track. I can just take the four element of the drums and just drag and drop them to my Ableton project here. And uh, I will uh, mute the old uh, drum here because I don't need them. So there's the new drum of the old track into my new track. And then, you know, you can just proceed to level everything and just, uh, you know, equalize in a different way and just make, you know, some other stuff. And you can change the sidechain settings and all that things, you know. So, as simple as that, that it's this trick, it's, you know, blend two or more projects into one. Basically, that's that's basically in a nutshell what's going on. Um, you can do uh, a different slight variation of this trick. So let's see now. Okay, so let's say I I am total. I have a, a writer block. I don't know what to do. I am completely tired, and I will let the randomness of the casualty to work for me. So sometimes you can just take one of your old track from some years ago and drag and drop the whole project, not the folder, the project. So here it's called Fluxionize. I just drag and drop the whole track. I don't remember this track very well. I don't remember the element. And I will see if maybe there is something that I like that I can take in this track and add it to my new track. This is possible as well. And as I said on the intro, because it's your music, it's more likely that the elements of different songs are going to work well on your new song because it's your music, it's your mind, it's your imagination. So, you know, uh, it's the same color with the same vibe in 80% in of the cases, not always. Um, so now it's loading because, it's, okay. So I don't remember. I, I Let's see, it's going to be a mess now. Obviously, there is many sounds. And also there is the mess of all the sends and the returns. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open all the channels and I'm going to just uh, remove all the sends and all the return of this new uh, track because I, I don't need them. Okay, I, I can see that I have a bit here. I can just select all of them. That's what I have. Okay. So I can just remove uh, maybe the, the melody because I don't need the melody. So the main part remove, the bass line I can remove as well. I just want the beat, for example. Okay. That's all I want, the beat. Now let's unmute and let's see how we behave with my track. 
it is nice actually i like the beat much more than the previous one so that is when you let the random myth the i don't know randomification but you know when you let the random events work for you you know i just took an old track i didn't know how this track was sounding and uh, because it's my track because it's my music i know that in most of the cases things are going to be working so this trick is very useful um well don't use it too much because if you're using too much you will let always this random event uh, work for you and it will kill your creativity uh, it's the same concept that i've done for the other tutorial that i've done for keyfinder you know don't always let the computer and these uh, things work for you because in a long run you become lazy and you'll not become very creative so yeah that's everything for today and uh, i hope you can just you know get something out of it thank you for everything and see you on the next one